Hey man, what's going on? Huh? Hi buddy. Could you not bend where I just taped that please? <laughs> you're, you're not making this easy. You don't really fit under here. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to K&S Get Out. It's Kyle and Shannon. It's Kyle and Shannon. <laughs> I didn't know what I was supposed to say. Well, I, I don't either. I would just make it up. <laughs> hey, uh, today at the time of filming this, it's 73 degrees with a pretty good little breeze slash wind. Uh, we got overcast clouds coming through and everything, and that's all fine and dandy. Problem is, tonight, we're supposed to get down to about 34 degrees, and I think early in the morning it's going to hit maybe 35, 36, and then no more than 41 or 2. Yeah for the foreseeable four I was gonna say days. for several days. And then the nights are even gonna get down in the 20s after that. So what are we doing? The thing you all warned us that we Boom. needed to do. I'm putting on a skirt. Well, <laughs> we're putting on a skirt. So we went to that old uh, store that we argue about what color the roof is. There's that no argument, we see. all know. And we got ourselves some one and three quarter inch thick foam board. This isn't the stupid expensive stuff because you can spend almost like three times as much and get other brands and things. Oh, it's one and a half inch. Never mind. We're going with the thin stuff that ain't going to work. It would have been fine if it was one and three quarter, but one and a half ain't. It's, it's too skinny. Don't worry. It'll be my fault. I'm the one that did the research on what to buy. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to put this up all the way around the camper. Hopefully get it done in time before the cold gets here. Problem is, the camper has been our storage for keeping some things dry. Things like chainsaws, weed eater, blower, uh, uh, pretty everything. much everything imaginable. So we've begun already pulling a lot of that stuff out. It just seems like one project leads to another. It well, really fine. does. But that's, that's our goal. That's what we're doing. It's time to winterize. I've got some other stuff I'm going to do to the water system where it comes into the RV and whatnot. Okay, so we have everything pulled out from underneath the camper and Kyle's going to take his awesome leaf blower and blow the leaves out from underneath. Ready? If he can find it. Ready? Yeah. <sighs> He's not a big bad wolf after all. Oh, you always told me I was full of hot air. <laughs> you are full of hot air, babe. <sighs> hey, if I pass out, can you just pick me up, please? I'll try. Okay. Okay, well that didn't work. We're gonna get the actual leaf blower. Where did you put it? Oh, don't blame that on me. You used it last. I probably did. Too bad you weren't recording. Kyle just admitted he's the one that used it last. No, I didn't. Prove it. But I wasn't recording, so I don't have proof prove it. of that. Prove it. Shannon you left it. You knew this exactly over here. where it was. Huh? You knew exactly where it was. Right where you left it. That's my proof. Yeah, right where you left it. Hey, good job on leaf blowing. Looks Thanks. great. I missed 23 of them and they're gonna all stress me out, but I think it'll be okay. I think it's gonna be okay. You telling me? I'm telling everybody. Oh. I definitely want to start on the north side of the camper. So first we're gonna do a little trench for the, for the foam board to rest in. And then we're going to cut it at the proper height so that we can tape it to this with the foil tape. Sweet. Okay. We're going to trench, measure, cut, start taping. Well, how simple was that compared to what you thought? Well, not as simple as what I thought. Nothing is ever as simple as I think it's going to be. <laughs> but we got Sometimes it. Sometimes Shannon gets the idea that these projects will only take as long as the YouTube video was that we watched to learn how to do it. And then she forgets that we ourselves sometimes do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hour long projects. And then we condense them into a 30 or 40 minute video. So this took us 30 to 45 <laughs> minutes for this one. Hey, but I really think the concept is fantastic. It's really, really good. The seam is nice. That super expensive tape seems to have worked properly. I did buy a thermometer to 
put underneath here so it's like one of those digital ones so that we can track it inside just to make sure the underside of the camper is not getting too cold. And doesn't it also have two other thermometers or temperature oh, gauges so yeah. we could put one down in the well house and then we could keep one inside the camper so that we got... Actually, I was thinking about putting the third one down in the goat shelter so we can keep, keep tabs on them. She's learning tricks from Grandpa over at Grandpa Adler Farms. No, I'm cool with that. Let's get the rest of this skirted. We should be done by the end of winter and then it'll be just fine. <laughs> okay, let's get back to it. Okay. How straight your line coming out there? So my lines are not that straight, but luckily Kyle brought up the fact that all we have to do is flip it back over and we can have the straight edge on top. Barry, she doesn't realize, like she thinks I'm super perfectionist and OCD. Okay, well I am, but one of the tricks to the trade of perfectionism and OCD is making your rough cut and then turning things over and burying them down in dirt or rocks. It was a very good idea. I will <laughs> give you that. It was a great idea. Honestly, whenever we broke that one over there, because you kind of do a score and then break, it comes off fairly evenly. This stuff's really easy to cut. I really think it's gonna be pretty straightforward. It's just kind of going through the grind, getting it on here, and then uh, filling in all the little nooks and crannies that you can't get with full pieces. So we're gonna try to work through our full pieces first. We may not tape all of them yet, just because like over here, you know, there's not enough thickness maybe. It's gonna be real close to see if we can get it up behind the stairwell. We can actually lift these up, put them into the doorway. I don't know, we may as well just let the stairs down on them and squish them. What do you yeah, think about I that? agree with that because it's just foam, you know? Yeah. And it'll kind of, the stairs will kind of help hold it in place, I think. I agree. So if you're ever gonna do this yourself, the awesome thing about this tape, it's kind of got like a, it's like an aluminum foil attribute to it a little bit. It's foil tape. There you go, <laughs> foil tape. Maybe that's why it does this. Just like aluminum foil, which I don't usually get along with in the kitchen. It's not as bad as saran wrap. I was gonna say you get along better with foil than saran wrap. Yeah, but this stuff folds like perfectly. So we're just basically lining it up at the edge. Again, this is, these are one and a half inches thick. This tape is three inches it's wide. It's almost three inches. Almost three inches. So it's about half, perfectly half. We get it down here so that it's touching the full top of this. You probably don't have to. And then we flip this up. So we got about an inch and a half or an inch or so that's gonna be adhering to the side of the camper. And it's pretty easy. If you got the base of it in place, you just push the top in and stick the tape, right? Absolutely, yeah. All right. Nice. Hey, go from the middle. Go from the middle out. Nope, middle of the part here that's not gonna touch. There you go. That's just an OCD anal thing that you don't have to do. That. Oh my gosh. But if you go from here and then it's off down there, then it's way off. If you go from the middle out, it's only half off. That's right. Okay, honey. Just follow me. Just follow me. Just do it for me so I can sleep tonight. Okay. Whatever you say. Good job. You're like a pro already. Get up there. Get up there. Yeah, uh, that hot water heater. The hot water tank is in there. That's only a six gallon tank. Shannon and I kind of have it down to an art as to how long we have to wait for it to warm back up after one of the showers, AKA Shannon showers first, uses all the hot water. I just take a cool shower. Hey, that's not true. Sort of kidding. If we wait 15 minutes, yeah, I get a half warm shower. But anyway, they do make those instant hot water heaters, which all the research I've done, they are hands down, especially for full timers like us. And if you're hooked up to a fresh water source rather than filling your tanks all the time, hands down, they're the way to go. So I'm gonna look into those. I would love to see if we get a little sponsorship, uh, but there, there's quite a few brands out there that you can choose from. So I'm gonna look into those and see if uh, somebody wants to send us one to test. I don't wanna put one piece going all the way under because oh, no, no, no. of yeah. where we cut it. So I'm gonna do a separate piece for this section and we'll just tape it together. I bought different tape. So there's one, one width of tape to do the top section they only had one roll of it at Home Depot. So I got another type, it's still foil tape, but it's not as wide. And that's what we're gonna do the seams with to, to connect the pieces. 
I kind of just want to keep pointing the camera at you to see what else she'll say. That's dangerous. <laughs> it's very dangerous. Shannon and I come about uh, running our mouths very differently. I can just run it all day long. Basically, I just turn thoughts on and audibly, boom, thinking out loud. Shannon does not work that Shannon way. Shannon doesn't do that. It's a process, 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 respond, which is probably way more intelligent. Uh, but that's okay. It's fine. I don't know that I would call it in m more intelligent. Yeah, think before you speak. Well, did we get it finished yesterday, babe? Well, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what today is for. <laughs> Good morning. It's 35 degrees today. It was 75 degrees yesterday. Yeah. Welcome to Missouri. Yeah. In case you haven't been with us a long time, we live in Missouri, right here in the Midwest of the U.S., and we see all weather. In one week. <laughs> so yesterday was like 75 <laughs> degrees. It was nice going to bed and everything, or at least getting settled in for the evening. Yeah. And then storms rolled in. I mean, storms. Big storms. Rain, wind, thunder, lightning, and most of all, it brought the cold. Yeah, it did. I think it got down to just over freezing last I night. I think it was like 34. Yeah. So our little partial... Uh, Winterization, it held up. That was great. Everything else up here, it did not. It blew around. I came out in the rain. It was fun. Checked on Herc. Herc was good. But today we're gonna wrap it up, right? Absolutely. Get it all covered in. Yeah, because it's gonna get down into the twenties tonight. So well, that's well. we gotta get our our water line over there heat taped, heat tape wrapped. How oh, do you, you say that? Oh you ruin you ruin the surprise. Oh no. All the winterization. Our bodies are not used to the cold yet. <laughs> they didn't get the memo that this was coming, I guess. Look right here. Okay, so it's really hard to get anything done when you have a puppy running up on you, trying to be under your arms, but he's just so lovable. How do you not do it? Look at this guy. Oh, what did you, we were just- Caught you. We were taking a break. I caught you. We, no, we were taking a break. Puppy breaks. If you can't, I mean, you can't be mad at me. You just, you just gotta look at this guy. I'm not mad at anybody. Can you see, can you see mom have, yeah, Nala's in there warming up. Yep, Nala had to take a break. She's not built hey, like you. Let's show them how good your head is doing. I've been scratching on his head and scratching on his belly where his other cut and he he doesn't no. even He's doing great. He's he super tough. Super tough. So now we're turning around the front of the camper where we have the tongue, the propane, the battery, and the solar inverter. Shannon came up with the idea of just putting it down underneath the frame because none of these tubes, none of these fittings or inlets into the camper are down there. So we're just gonna put this underneath, trace it out stick a triangle piece up underneath the frame. Yep, and, and then, then we'll bring the this out, here. yeah. Oh, I was thinking we'd run it over that way and catch into it. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. In here and then out. You may not be able to see it, but this guy is having a heyday. He's digging up old carpet that he found around this tree. That's his fourth piece, and this one is the most buried compared to the rest. Oh, Get he's it. getting it. Get it. I'm this, this this is mine. I'm getting it. Let's see here, right? There. Okay, okay. What are you looking? What are you doing? Don't care. Get it, buddy boy. You get it out of there. Come on, muscles. You can do it. We need you to clean that up. Come on. Don't be weak, sauce. Get it. You go get it. You lift I'll it. I'll go get it. Come on. You're doing great. This is one spot he keep dug Keep going. Up. You gotta keep going. You gotta clean up our yard, dude. That's your job. He says, no, it's my job to run and play and poop in it. Yeah. He'll get back to it. Yeah. Okay, so I think we've done a pretty killer job on getting that little triangular piece under there. I love it. Good yeah, job, Yeah, I think Kenan. it's a great way to do that. I like your tape job, too. Why, oh, thank you. I feel like we have a few options from here. I'm leaning one way, but I'm curious to hear what you think. Okay. We can come across and just stay on the frame right there. There's a little bit of this sheet metal. I may, I could bend up just a bit, but we could come across here. And then if we want to keep wind from getting in underneath, you know, we could go that way. The problem is we're going to have to cut out the little step up for that. That's doable. 
then we would have this enclosed, this enclosed, and the air from above the tongue down. Yes, we're, we're listening. <laughs> You're gonna be a part of this We're listening. And then any wind coming in from the top down will have stopped. We will just need to put a little six or seven inch piece here on the back side of it going back up to the body of the camper. I think that's a good idea. If we did that. I feel like that's the most efficient. Yeah, if we, if we did that, we'd have it enclosed everywhere for bringing air in yeah let's do, do that, like that and option? then over here we'll do the same thing we'll just yeah bring it over and then down yeah i mean in my mind that closes it all off it, depending on how well we do it getting this piece up and down here i think <laughs> if i lay under there again i think i can hold it up okay <laughs> he says i'm gonna go for one of the pieces i've already uh knocked free awesome he's crazy well, you know, I don't know how perfect this has to be, but this is one of those times where I think we're going to benefit from doing it as well as possible. Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect, but yeah. we'll get it as airtight as we can. <laughs> oh, you're, that's, you're silly. That's funny. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yes, it does. I'll just put extra tape on it. It'll be fine. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. So far, it's uh, perfectly imperfect, but it's stopping the it's wind. It's doing great. And I tell you what, 37 degrees. We've gone up a whole two degrees here in an hour I and a half it. or two. Or I feel it. I feel it. It's warmer. Yeah. It feels great. We're doing this. This is going to help a ton. My only sad thing is we're losing our under camper storage, but you know but we're gonna be warm this is one solution it creates another problem that we'll find another solution for and we'll just keep going yeah okay let's get this part done and we can move on to the back Hey man, what's going on? Huh? Hi buddy. Could you not bend where I just taped that please? <laughs> you're, you're not making this easy. You don't really fit under here. <laughs> Silly boy. Kyle, don't ever look under here, okay? Herc, honey. No, 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 no. Okay, this should do, and then we'll do the sides. Okay, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but Hercules is chasing Kyle on the four-wheeler. It's pretty cute. Say that's a good way to get him to wear out some energy. Yeah, that's my way of doing it. I just don't want him to learn to chase cars. That's the last thing that we need. What happened? I forgot we had a footing over here that our slide hung over. We've been doing a good job and as I've been going, I've actually been burying these a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper just to really stop the wind from coming underneath. But we'd have a pretty good gap if we just went over the top of the footing. So what I'll do is I'll hold it there and you just take your little knife and just <laughs> ninja style. I have a better idea. Why don't I hold it and you take your little knife and just <laughs> That way I don't screw it up. Perfectionist. Okay. Okay.
Well, day three of the yeah. project. It took way longer than anticipated, as usual. If any of you are thinking of doing this, uh, give yourself some time and get it done before it's cold. And yes, we know you all told us that, but it didn't work in our timeline. Yeah, ideally we would have had this all done when it was 75 degrees the other day, but circumstances didn't allow for time for that. It happens. No big deal. However, we went and got the official inspectors. Uh, I don't know if you can see them back there. <laughs> They're not They're working crazy. very hard. But check it out, guys. This is the finished product. Now, I am not going to say that it is the most beautiful thing you've ever done to your camper. However, it is hands down the most functional thing we've done to ours. And last night, I think it got down to about 20 degrees at one point. Yeah. And we had it consistently 71, 72 degrees inside. It was very comfortable. Shannon had put a sensor down underneath it so that we could see what the temperature was. And I think it only got down to like 46-ish. No, it got down to 40. Oh, 40. I'm so, pretty sure it got down to 40. Way better than 20. Anyway, it wasn't freezing. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. And again, I think we had about 10, 11 mile an hour winds with a little bit of rain it was gross it was, it was real cold a yucky day yesterday but it was very nice in the camper yeah so all in all we went with the one and a half inch thick stuff and pretty much taped every single seam that we could up here we really tried to do the whole pieces as little uh chop job as possible just to make it a little bit easier this was our first chop job and i personally i think we killed it i think it's fantastic you're hiding the wasp spray back there for me well, you never know where you might need a thing of wasp spray. I couldn't agree more. I will probably have to drill some holes in that to let some of the water out if it rains or whatever. This is where we did some of our chop job, but I think it turned out but great. But for a reason, because, check this out, and we have to... Are you guys trying to be in the video? I think Kirk is annoying Nala. She's about done with him. Yeah, those are our inspectors. They're yeah. working pretty hard today. He's got his Kong. <laughs> Take your time. She's like, you just go, you little dumb one. Uh-huh. So anyway, we saved this part for the last because, and we're, we're going to have to figure out a handle or something. I'm going to make you a duct tape one. But this is where we have the handles for our black tank and our gray tank. So we had to have access to be able to open all that. And so we basically, we just took our seam tape and we wrapped it around both sides there and every contact point on both the sides that are receiving the door and the door itself. And then of course, we, all these little pieces we had to cut in between the piping and stuff, we did so and then just taped it. I think it's gonna work great. I think so too. You know, it'd be cool if they'd put it in some kind of like carbon fiber print or something. But I think in most cases, this is getting covered up with uh, OSB or wafer board or something. We're going to see if we can paint it. I, I know, isn't it spray paint they said you can't do? Well, spray paint will eat, it. eat up foam, but this has a layer on it that might make it be okay. Yeah, we'll look into it. But of course, this was 100% for functionality, not for beauty. Uh, but today, 35 degrees, I think there's about a six or seven mile an hour wind. It's kind of low right now coming out of the north and it is cold. And it is cold. Plenty more cold in. I was just kind of checking the seams as we were walking around. <laughs> I appreciate Making it. Making sure everything's okay. Man, this is where we ended last night when it was dark and freezing. Couldn't feel our noses, our oh, fingers, our we, toeses. <laughs> we worked in the dark. We had a spotlight up on a five-gallon bucket just to give us some light. It was a little bit crazy. Yeah. And cold. Well, and uh, I may come in and perfect this a little bit, but that was the final piece. And we said, hey, you know what? We got scrap. It's close enough. Stick it in there. Let's tape it. Fortunately, excuse me. Fortunately, the wind is not coming out of the direction from behind me or from behind you from your viewing angle. It's coming from over there. So it's okay. Yeah, nothing getting in there. So, yeah, definitely allow enough time to get it done because as we have learned with every project that we do, it takes way longer than you anticipate. Yeah, or at least for us because we don't work the same way and we did this one together. <laughs> I would have had this done in about an hour. Mm hmm. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not, not even gonna, perfectionism. We're not even going to start down that path. Yeah, it, uh, it doesn't matter. We got it done. Super functional. That's what we're looking for. Now we're one more step closer to being fully winterized. Got a little yep. more work to do in the well house. I've got to do a little bit to finalize some of the faucets. We do have the hose over there. We didn't freeze up last night. Fantastic. Yep. Uh, we do have a thermometer sensor in the well house as well. It also stayed around 40. 
last night, so we've at least got another day or so, but that will be my next place to go, and it will be sitting pretty. Nice. Good work. Yeah, just another thing. You know, the nice thing about it, Shannon and I were talking about, is we had so many projects to get us out here. It's nice to actually be doing a project that's going to keep us here and keep us yeah. more comfortable here. Very true. Well, hey, guys, we cannot tell you how much we appreciate and love all of you. Thank you so much for coming by. If you have any more questions or you want more details on products we use, anything like that, let us know in the comments below. Yep. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.